Hey there, this is the Market Doll Queen. I'm going to talk to you this morning about a uh, common stock, a uh, day trade alert, scalp alert that I did today, Wednesday, February 26, 2020. The ticker is TNXP. As you can see, I am in my Thinkorswim scanner and I will open it up so you can see here. Let me close this part so you can see my actual settings for my pre-market scanner. This is it. You can freeze this video right now and copy my settings. And that's exactly how you'll get it. All right. Freeze that. Copy my settings if you want to check out my scanner. I'm going to go ahead and close that back up. So anyways, I'll go ahead and open this back up. Right here, we're looking at TNXP. It was alerted for a day trade scalp this morning. And it had news. Tonics Pharmaceuticals announced research collaboration with Southern Research to develop a potential vaccine to protect against the coronavirus. As we know, the coronavirus is hot, hot, hot. And any biotech or any other health sector ticker, if they say anything about the coronavirus, it's good for at least a pump. This one here, that's a very good catalyst right there. I really liked it. So I went ahead and opened up my charts. And I went to TNXP, and here we are. As you can see, it's about eh, it's about 40 minutes since I first alerted this this morning. And I alerted it for a 50 cent entry, 5-0. And it was on this first monstrous candle. Of course, this monstrous candle happened as soon as the news dropped. The news dropped a Boom, retail will jump on. I tell all my members, retail loves under a dollar ticker. You can get a big position with this. So I alerted it for 50 cents and it was right here, right there on that candle. As you can see, my TTM squeeze is right below. On that candle, I've got my first light blue bar. I want to see that. I also want to see my Bollinger Bands expand. That's the light purple right there. I want them to spread open like your open arms getting ready for a hug. Down here is my MACD. As you can see, it crossed over right there. And then, boom, we're starting to gap open and get wider and wider and wider. My TTM squeeze, the blue bars, stair step up. As volume and momentum increases, this is a good trade. My EMA ribbon has flipped over. You can see it right there. Let me see if I can expand this a little bit better. That did not help. <laughs> all right. So anyways, you can see I have all of these indicators. And for the past couple of days, you can see it right there. Total squeeze, the TTM squeeze, total squeeze, nothing happening. The MACD, squeeze, nothing happening, not a trade to be in. You could see all that. All these indicators, one, two, three, these are my go-tos. This is what I use to find these trades. Right here, the EMA ribbon flips. This one here, the purple is on the top, the red one is on the bottom. That's what I want to see when I am in my Think or Swim program. The white dotted line is my VWAP. If you set up your VWAP, like I did on here, I removed the upper and lower bands on the VWAP. I don't care about those. Those interfere with my Bollinger bands. I just want to see the center median. And I also set it up to be a watt. A white dotted line so it stands out now as the EMA ribbon gets further and further apart pointing northeast I like to call it you see it right there we're going this way you can see the candles going up I don't care about these little red jobbies 
that's just selling, people locking in gains, because it's quite a pop. From 50 cents to a high of 68 cents, uh, you did this as a day trade, you could lock it in right now, call it a day. That was a beautiful trade. Right here, we're still looking good. Um, the Bollinger Bands are still expanding. I would suggest you can still stay in the trade. As you can see, I have time and sales set up over here. And you get that right here on the right-hand side where it says T and S. You click on that, and that's what opens up your time and sales. That's crucial to know if there's any interest, if people are buying, if people are selling. If this is empty or if there's only a couple there or if they're all white, it's kind of stalled out. So it's at 60.6716 was 2016. It's tightening up, but my TTM squeeze says stay in the trade. The EMA ribbon, if the purple comes back down and flips over the red, it's called a waterfall. And if it waterfalls, um, that's a sign that things are turning. That purple has to turn over the red. The red has to be on top of the purple in order for you to know that the trade has gone down. Look, it's at 0.6730 now. It's still doing wonderful. Like I said, if the Bollinger Bands start to contract together, like if this top band right here, as you can see, it's still pointing north, east. So are my EMA ribbon. This one here is trying to curl up. When the Bollinger Bands contract down together, if they try to form a meet right here, both of these try to come together. That means volume and momentum are squeezing. They're drying up. That could be a signal to consider getting out of the trade. The Bollinger Bands help you decide, so does the EMA ribbon, so does the TTM squeeze, and so does the MACD. These help me stay in the trade longer to keep my gains. If the candles go below VWAP, keep an eye on that. If the candles go below the EMA, so I don't like that. But if they stay within the range of the bottom Bollinger Band, you could still be safe. But if they go below the bottom Bollinger Band, that's either a signal of a free fall or a significant change. And you would have to watch for the following candle. But that's if it goes below the bottom Bollinger Band. What you want are the candles to stay up here in the upper Bollinger Band. Nowhere near the middle median Bollinger Band is the, the light blue dotted one. I don't know how to get it lit up. There, we'll get it lit up like that. The light blue dotted line that you can see in between my ribbon. I can't move my cursor right now. That is the median of the Bollinger Band. So you want the candles to stay above that median. The further it gets away from VWAP, the better. If the EMA ribbon stays pointing this way, doesn't cross over, stay in the trade. It's got more to give. Of course, you are never wrong to lock in gains. I always say green is green. Lock it in, rinse, repeat. You can surely play this if you want it with multiple scalps, but that's somebody who would have unlimited day trades. I wouldn't suggest this to anybody. And because, look at it now, it's almost, uh, it is going to test high of day. High of day is 68 cents already. And we still have almost an hour and a half left to go before open. It's at 67 cents. So like I said, use your indicators let them speak to you. You have to learn to read the chart. I cannot tell you when to exit, but you are never wrong to lock in gains. Like I said, 50 cents to 68 cents. That's a squirting with boom sauce, babe.
and I don't even think it's done yet. I may make another video if this sucker goes sky high. And then again, I may make another video if it sinks like a stone just to show you the indicators. Look here, VWAP is starting to level out. Starting to want to go just parallel like that. These are still expanding. Uh, the TTM is still in this beautiful light blue range. If it goes into dark blue, pay attention. It will stair step down if it goes into dark blue. What we don't want to see is it below the, the, the center, the zero line of the TTM squeeze. We don't want to see it go into the reds or the yellows down here, okay? We don't want anything below this median line. And, of course, if the MACD crosses. And look, we just did our next tick. And we're flat. So, like I said, we are at 6702. Pay attention to this one. Oh, this may have more to give. Like I said, it will test high of day and surpass it. I know it says 68 cents there, but I just have a funny feeling. There it goes, 67.50. We are going to test high of day. We just did. And you just saw it happen right there. 70 cents, just like I said. Pay attention to your indicators because they speak to you. Stay in the trade. Congratulations to anyone who got in there. Lock it in. Rinse, repeat.